is good news for riders on this first evening commute since the Orange Line reopened. The trains seem to be running smoothly. WBZ's Christina Hager's live in Boston tonight. Christina, you were one of those riders today. How did it go? Nice ride today, and we've been seeing something here at Haymarket Station all day. People walking through these turnstiles to get on trains. This station uh, was particularly affected because Orange and Green Line trains had stopped here. So this moment is long awaited. The destination of this train is Oak Road. So much easier than waiting for a shuttle bus. Every train on the Orange Line is now a new one. The new train's pretty cool. It shows you, you know, the connections for the next stop. <laughs> we were on a really nice new train. Everything's gorgeous, just like really clean. We took a ride too. Nice, smooth, and timely during the first day after an unprecedented month-long shutdown for repairs. The very first highly anticipated train for the public to board rolled along before many of us woke up. As the speeds are coming back, as the reliability is coming back, there will be a little bit of a transition period, but we're headed in a great direction. Boston Mayor Michelle Wu and MBTA General Manager Steve Poftak among the first official commuters. So far, so good. He says in the next five to seven days, trains will speed up between Jackson Square in Boston and Wellington Station in Medford. There are six zones in that stretch where they were forced to slow down because of the needed repairs that are now done. We just want to let those repairs settle. We'll do another, an additional inspection once we're confident that the repairs are, are, are done properly. We'll remove the slow zone. And now a city free of the shuttles that had crowded streets for the last month with alternative rides while the trains were out. For a whole month I've had to drive to work and then between moving, construction, traffic, it's been a nightmare for everybody. Nightmare over, he hopes. Yeah, so a lot of happy people here right now, but there's still quite a few skeptics because remember the string of problems that prompted this shutdown in the first place. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll take a closer look at what the T plans to do to keep up with maintenance going forward. At Haymarket Station in Boston, Christina Hager, WBZ News. Christina, thank you.